Okay, so this is our first video that's going to actually look at calculus. So kind of the first question is, what is calculus? Uh, so it'll become more clear the more the more you do. But basically, it's just a study of what rates of change. Rates of change. So calculus allows us to study rates of change better than just normal algebra would. Okay, that's why we do it. So the first thing we're going to look at in calculus is differentiation. So we're going to look at diff, differentiation, okay? So for example, if we had, and this is what differentiation does, here's our x and our y-axis, we have our quadratic equation like this, okay? So that quadratic equation is going to be, so it's not perfect, it should be symmetrical, but y is equal to x squared, okay? Okay, y is equal to x squared. So what differentiation allows us to do, so I'll use dark blue. So if we'll say y is equal to x squared, then dy dx is equal to 2x. And you'll learn how to do that now in a second. So dy dx is 2x. That means, so the dy dx gives us the slope of the tangent. So remember, a tangent is a line like that. So pretend that's a straight line that hits the curve only one point, okay? So that this thing gives the slope of the tangent. So remember, the slope is the rise over the run, yeah? Um, but it isn't just the slope of this tangent here. This dy dx gives us the slope of the tangent at any point of x, okay? So it gives us the slope of the tangent here and here. So I missed, I missed the graph there, but... And here and all of those. So imagine they're all straight lines that are perfect tangents dy dx calculates the tangents for all of them. So it's much quicker than calculating the tangent, tangent using coordinate geometry. We can do calculus and we can find it for any value of x, okay? So all we need to do, if you put any number of x in here, so x, one, two, three, all here along the x-axis, okay? For any value of x, if you put that into this formula here, so two times x, that's equal to the slope of that curve at that point, okay? So x is equal to three, okay? If we go, dot ourselves up here. I'll use a different color because it's getting a bit confusing here. So x is equal to 3. If we dot it up to this thing here, say if we draw a tangent at that point there, the tangent is going to have slope of 2 times 3, which is equal to 6. So does that make sense? That's how dy dx is the slope of the tangent at any point. Okay? And we'll learn exactly how to do it, but that, that is just important that you get to know does that make sense? So Okay, so hopefully you get that now, and that's I'm going to be drilling that in again and again. I might actually write it out here. So I'll go green, and I'll scroll down just a tiny bit, so that dy dx is equal to the slope at any point, okay? Slope at any point, sorry, at any point of tangent to the curve, okay? So dy dx is the slope at any point of the tangent, or of a tangent to the curve, okay? And hopefully that makes more sense. The more we do it, the more sense it should make, okay? So any any tangent you draw, dy dx will give you the slope of that tangent, okay? Um, so yeah, we're gonna move on just a few more small things. Um, so you might see this, so f of x is equal to x squared, so you guys are familiar with this notation. Now this f prime of x or f dash of x is equal to 2x, okay? That's the same thing we did up here where we had y was x squared and dy dx is 2x, okay? So basically f dash of x is just a different notation. f dash of x equals dy dx. So two separate people invented calculus at the same time, uh, completely separately in different countries and they just use different notation, okay? So this is what happened. Um, so just if you see either of those, don't be confused. They're the same thing. Most people use dy dx because it's probably easier. And then as well, you might see in questions as well. Um, sorry, I just rubbed that out. You might see in questions as well. Uh, differentiate. And then they'll say with respect x okay so they could give something like this y is equal to 3x squared plus 7x minus 10 and they'll ask you to differentiate it 
with respect to x. Basically, that just means differentiated. Don't don't really worry about the with respect to x. That's kind of really technical. It doesn't really matter that much. You're just going to use your dy dx, which we'll go through in the next few videos how to use it. Okay, so differentiate with respect to x, just differentiate it. So hopefully that all made sense. That's just kind of an overview of what calculus, what differentiation is. So it's a study of a rate of change. So the tangent is the rate of change, and we'll go into that later when we're talking about how we can apply calculus. But uh, once you get dy dx, which is the it's a tangent, sorry, it's a slope at any point of a tangent to the curve, okay? The slope of the tangent at any value of x. So hopefully, oh, I haven't said that too many times, and uh, differentiate with respect to x just means differentiate it. And then the last point, I kind of rubbed it out there earlier, but I'm just going to write it down, one more summary. f dash of x is equal to dy dx. It's just different notation, different ways of writing, the same thing. Okay, I hope that made sense, and now we're going to start looking at the rules of differentiation.